This is the fourth video in our series looking at the open circuit technical dive oak training progression. And it's time to taste that sweet, sweet helium. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. As always, so fantastic to see all of your smiling faces. I hope you're all doing really, really well. If you're new to our channel, make your next dive on our subscribe button. This is going to be a bit of a weird video for you to start on, so maybe make yourself at home, take your shoes off, have a look around at some of our other video offerings. We are back with the fourth video in this series, looking at the training progression of the open circuit technical diver. I am currently teaching TDI programs, so the standards I mention here refer to those courses. If you are interested in courses offered by other instructors and other agencies, I would highly recommend you reach out to your local instructor who teach their programs for the most accurate information. Okay. So you've done your advanced nitrox and your decompression procedures, which we tackled in the last two videos in this series, and you're now a technical diver. Good for you, I'm proud of you. You're planning and executing technical dives, you're out there every weekend like a warrior. Excellent, awesome, really happy, what's next? Well, now you start to hear, okay, well, I'm really comfortable with these wrecks or these dive sites, and I'm really good at 150 foot dives, but there's that wreck just over there that's just beyond my current training limit, and I, I really wanna go and just, and you know 200 feet 60 meters that's a nice round number what's next well trimix diver which is sometimes referred to as basic trimix entry level trimix normoxic trimix or whatever the hell paddy calls it probably tech 62 and a half or something ridiculous anyway in this video as with every video in this series we are going to cover an overview of the course itself we're going to look at the objectives of a good well-taught trimix diver course what can you expect to learn the prerequisites and qualifications of the people who go to take these courses and who this course is actually designed for so let's start with the overview and objectives for most people trimix diver will be your first taste of diving with helium of course i say taste helium doesn't have a taste it'd be great if it did can you imagine like i'll take a raspberry trimix fill please thank you um i like trimix let me say that i like diving with helium um i said it before as long as you are a safe diver with solid foundational skills i think a diver using helium mixtures at 150 feet is a ton safer than a diver using a nitrox mixture at 120 feet because you are so much more clear-headed and therefore less likely to make a mistake. The Trimix Diver course will teach you how to calculate your equivalent narcotic depth for your planned Trimix dive. In other words, how knocked should you expect to feel? But other than that, not a whole lot is going to change as far as dive planning is concerned from your decompression procedures training. Only a few of the required skills will be new to students at this level. Drills like responding to a tox diver, both at depth and on the surface, will be pretty new for most people. Uh, but for most part, the skills will be variations of skills you've already mastered during your previous training that you'll now be asked to perform a bit deeper. You will also get comfortable handling, carrying, and diving with most likely two stage bottles now, whereas you might only have been familiar with one up to now, uh, which most likely will contain different mixtures of decompression gas. So it's really important to learn and breed good habits when it comes to clipping the stages off in the right order and not doing not just one, but multiple gas switching. Hose routing becomes increasingly important so you don't end up looking like a bag of snakes. After training, you will have the confidence and skills to plan and execute technical dives using helium mixtures with a buddy of the same skill level as yourself or above to a maximum depth of 60 meters or 200 feet. So what about the prerequisites and qualifications? What do you need before you can join the squeaky voice brigade? Well, as I've said before, and as with all technical diver training, there are agencies prerequisites and there are your instructor's prerequisites. And if the instructor is good, their prerequisites will be a lot more stringent than the agency's requirements because it's their liability at stake, 
not the training agencies. So the training agencies prerequisites for Trimix Diver are you need to be 18 years old, you need to have advanced nitrox and deco procedures under your belt in the case of TDI, and you need proof of 100 logged open water dives. But that is ridiculously low because you could have done 94 shallow reef dives and six dives on your advanced nitrox decompression procedures courses and then roll straight into trimix that that doesn't make any sense at all nobody would do that so it really is down to the individual instructor to be like okay well you've got 100 dives or you've got 200 or 500 dives but what are the quality of those dives what actually have you done so expect at that level of training if you're working with an instructor who doesn't know you to ask some pretty serious questions about your background and your diving history my personal prerequisites on top of those of the agency are you need at least 200 log dives and at least 50 of those dives have to be staged decompression tech dives in the 120 to 145, 150 foot range. You should have logged at least 10 decompression tech dives in the six months prior to starting your Trimix diver course. You need to be an active diver. It's not good. Yeah, I was doing tech dives in the 90s and now I want to do Trimix. Yeah, that's, that's not going to fly, okay? So they ask for 100 log dives. They don't say how deep, how recent, or whatever types of dives should be. So do listen to your instructors. They are gonna give you a much better idea. So who should take a Trimix class? Now, I did make a whole separate video on what is and why to dive Trimix, which is why I'm keeping this one kind of brief, but I'll link that up above there somewhere and you can go check that out if you haven't done so already. Trimix Diver is basically for any technical diver looking to increase their safety. I really believe that. Less narcosis means less distracted divers, it means less task fixation, and it means less perceptual narrowing, which all adds up to a safer diver, less likely to make a stupid mistake. Obviously, adding Trimix capabilities to your diving gives you another 50 feet or 15 meters of depth, which will allow you to explore sites you weren't previously qualified for. Good for you, proud of you. And we have many superb technical dive sites here in South Florida that sit in that 145 to 200 foot range, the 45 meter to 60 foot range, like the Lowrance, the Sucre, the Northern Lights, the Hydro Atlantic, none of which are suitable for entry level technical divers. One of the best descriptions that I've ever heard of Trimix diving actually came from one of my most recent uh, students and a big uh, follower of the channel here, Andre, uh, a good buddy of mine who lives here in South Florida. He regularly dives the Spiegel Grove. Uh, I see him on dive boats up and down the coast. And during his Trimix class, we were on the Spiegel Grove on Trimix and he said it was like diving in 4K. And what he meant by that is everything seemed so much clearer, so much crisper, uh, and you were so much more aware, and it just enhances the quality of your dive. You just enjoy things more. So that makes your dives not only safer, but ultimately more enjoyable. Conversely, I also know a guy who tried to do Truck Lagoon Trip and save money by not using helium. Now, this is already an $8,000 dive trip before you've bought plane tickets. And by the time you factored in gear, insurance, the flights, the layover, you know, you get out there, there's, there's quite a bit of money, okay? He does all of his dives on air or nitrox, couldn't remember a damn thing about the dives, zero recall, didn't have any memories of anything that he saw underwater, absolute madness like why go all that way and spend all that money to have a subpar experience it makes no sense to me whatsoever now next up in this series we are going to go super deep how deep well as deep as your insurance company will let you we're going to be talking about advanced trimix so Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You're not going to want to miss that. And let me know in the comments below if you've taken a Trimix or a Helium-based course. What did you think of it? And what do you use that training to do? Thanks so much, as always, for watching. My name's James. This was your Divers Radio video for this week. Dive safe. Dive often.